we have grilled jumbo shrimp, salt and pepper. It's gotta have a char. Char is a flavor and color and texture. And then we do some fresh green onions because I love freshness. And shout out to El Lado Chino Mio because I have green onions. And also, this time I went with the Demonio sauce by Chef Scott out of uh, the East Coast with that beautiful orange color person. They told me I could be the president of my imagination heavy sent. Cheers, bro. Cheers. What do we got here? We have our Orte Family Wines 2020 Pinot Blanc. I, I love them how they're crisp and they got enough volume. I'm gonna grill some shrimp. Awesome. And I'm gonna do uh, some orange, it's called demonio sauce from my buddy, uh, Scott. Okay. So I just season it with salt and pepper. I know you love to cook. Yes, sir. The grill is super hot. Yep. And uh, you wanna do, this will be like five minutes. Okay. Anyways, so let's demystify the whites. People always go straight to red. Yeah. White wine, not whites as a gente blanca. <laughs> but um, why do people, think that white can only be for lunch or you know morning sessions versus a night would you ever have something like this with a steak uh i would i would i would i would, I would definitely it's one of those wines to where it's very well balanced mm -hmm. um i would do a nice you know rare steak and uh the acidity is there uh it's well balanced yeah to where it, any proteins uh white or red proteins uh, i think it would do great with it what is the biggest misconception of whites? Like people always go straight to the red. Yeah. And I think if it's a sophisticated, it's like, I guess I'm, when I'm cooking, if I want to cook a dinner and I'll cook like say a salad with protein, people won't think that's a dinner style kind of meal, you know? Right. Quiet on the set. So why do people demystify that? I mean, it's one of those things where a white wine is not, a lot of people are, are um, approach to that. They're not kind of, you know, go and uh, white wine, I don't know too much about it. And they kind of just go to a red wine. Well, this is again, uh, this is again, what is it? It's uh, a Pinot Blanc. Pinot Blanc. Pinot so Blanc. people think it's a Chardonnay, a Viognier, um, you know. Good. Yeah. Tell me why you went with a Pinot Blanc. So a Pinot Blanc is a, it's a varietal between Savion Blanc and Chardonnay. So there's a different, different style you can make a Pinot Blanc. Uh -huh. But for me, a well-balanced, um, I choose Pinot Blanc because I didn't want to do a Savion Blanc. Yeah. I didn't want to do a Pinot Gris. Why didn't you want to do that? So I want my story is different from everyone else's, and a Pinot Blanc is different from everything too. Mm -hmm. Pinot Blanc is normally a blending varietal, Got so it. for me, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go with 100%, mm -hmm. and this is 100% standing still, aged and fermented, a very clean, crisp, mm -hmm. some honeydew melon. Oh, we, I like it. We got some lemon zest in it as well too. Mm -hmm. um, crisp, clean. I mean, and it goes, gr goes Now, great. did you grow up liking uh, that 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 uh, varietal mix blend, or is that something you said, I'm going to create? So when I started making wine in 2014, uh -huh. uh, I was introduced to it in 2015, the following uh -huh. year. And I kind of asked a lot of my colleagues and some friends that are winemakers, and uh -huh. they, I asked them about Pinot Blanc, and they said, well, it's a blending varietal. It's not really known here in the valley. So I'm like, that kind of hinted to me to where, like, Hey, it's not known in the valley, yeah. so why not do 100 percent? Yeah, and be different. Why do, why do people are so? St I guess because we're taught that way. So I don't even want to answer my own question. People are basically stuck on a varietal. They're not open to blends like this. Right. But you went with the blend. I did. Uh, well, I did. I did. I went with with a varietal that you normally can be blended. Uh huh. So I kind of uh, had a style to where I wanted to see if I could do 100 percent of it, and, and I'm glad I did. How has it gone for you? It's done great. It's done really good. Um, I've actually turned, uh, you know, six different uh, non-wine drinkers, mm -hmm. or I'll say white wine drinkers, yeah. to where, once again, they've loved my Pinot Blanc. They've mm -hmm. loved the way, it, the way it, the wine style is, the way it's balanced, the aroma. I like it because I like the body of it. it. It's got balance. Yes. Because I'm telling you, this shrimp, it's got a lot of flavor. Yeah, I can't wait. Let me ask you this. You have a, you don't just have one job and then you got the wine. Right. You've got three jobs. Correct. Why do you do it? The passion, the passion. It's it's our family story. Um, you know, having uh, my, my parents, my mother, my father being in the industry for mm -hmm. over 67 years. Um, I, I felt, you know, being the youngest in my family, I needed to do, uh, I was really appreciative of what they've done for our family. Uh -huh. So from uh, doing that, I felt that... Did you rebel in the beginning being young and you didn't want to follow their footsteps? Because, you know, we're young. <laughs> no, and yeah, you're right. You're, you're no, young, I, yeah. I was. I actually... It's, it's funny you said that because 
when I was growing up in high school, I didn't want to go to the vineyard in December. Yeah. I wanted to do my two weeks in December with high school and the rest of the two weeks for Christian vacation, play video games, go out, play basketball, baseball, football, whatever. But guess what? Yeah. I had to work in the vineyard. Yeah. And you know what? But I kind of, I kind of regret not, not learning more. Yes. Not learning more. At a young age. Correct. You know, it's funny because as we get older, we realize when we're young, we thought we know it. But as you get older, you're wiser, you know you didn't know shit. Right. Right. No. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and now, I kind of, you know, like uh, previous interviews, I've, I've, I wish that, you know, my father would be around and I could ask him those kind of questions. Yeah. Those farming practices. Because yeah. I do grow grapes. I'm a vineyard consultant. Yeah. Um, I do a lot of logistics. So go back, go back to the drive. Are there nights where you just like, I don't know why I'm fucking doing this. Maybe I'll just work overtime my eight to five. Is it, it's normal to want to have thoughts of giving up, but what drives you to not give up? My family story. Yeah? My family story. It's one of those things to where, you know, it's... My, my father he did it for 67 years yeah. for, with one company, you know? And yeah. that's one thing to where... That's what my family knows. He know, they know the, the industry, and, you know, it, they, they were, we were just blessed to be a part of it. And I want to continue the legacy, and now I'm able to do that. What do you think, what keeps you motivated? Obviously, it has to work because you're continuing to do it. <laughs> it, it does. It, what keeps me motivated is uh, my family. Uh -huh. I mean, it's just something to where they see what I'm doing, mm -hmm. they appreciate it, and, and, and their feedback. Their feedback is amazing, and to where they tell me your wines are good, and I, I they tell you them. it's good, so you like it because they also are very knowledgeable. But I'm sure your customers are saying it's 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 awesome. It, it, it correct, yeah. And that's one thing when we do family gatherings, when we do dinners at my mother's house. Um, I don't tell them. I'll I will put the I'll take the label off, or mm -hmm. I'll bring a sample from the winery, and I'll tell them, drink it, try it. And when I tell them that, I don't. They ask, what is it? You said, enjoy it. Let me know what you think. Exactly. And that's one thing where I appreciate that because it's their full. It might Listen, be mine. Might for, be those, for those people out there who are working full-time jobs, who, who, who have it hard, but they have a passion, what's the one advice you would give them? If it's one thing I feel that I get anywhere during harvest, it's half an hour to two hours of sleep, and I'm working 22 hours a day. Yeah. If it's a passion and it's something that you enjoy, you will lose sleep over it because you enjoy it and you're going to be you're like going to showcase it because you know what the return what the end result can be correct so losing sleep is okay yes because if you're doing something you love you're willing to sacrifice oh, of course what it takes i will lose sleep Cheers. over to to harvest salud all right hey manuel come by real quick so right here we have grilled jumbo shrimp Salt and pepper, it's got to have a char. Char is a flavor and color and texture. And then we do some fresh green onions because I love freshness. And shout out to El Lado Chino Mio because I have green onions. And also, this time I went with the Demonio Sauce by Chef Scott out of uh, the East Coast with that beautiful orange color for some heat. So here's what I want you to do. This is what you want to do. You're going okay. you're gonna to grab the shrimp. Okay. You're going to you know, you're gonna uh, enjoy the flavor. Yeah. You're gonna grab the legs, okay, and you're gonna just take off the shell. Now, if you see the shell's very um, thin, yes. So now, mm -hmm. I'm a little messier than you are, but hey. Mmm. Mmm. Come on, man. Hello. Perfect now, balance. Great balance. Great balance. So, I love the fact that it's balanced, and it makes sense with the shrimp. But the best part about it is that story. You heard Jesus. He went with the blend. Okay, that's wine talk. But what keeps him going is that passion. He's a grandson of a Abuelo Familia from the Braceros program. He's going to sacrifice every day. He doesn't mind losing sleep for harvesting, for bottling. And that is a drive. Nothing else can drive you more than for your family pride and leaving a legacy for your family. And that's what I love. It's not the great wine. It's not the amazing food, but it's the stories behind it. Thank you. Love it, bro. Fuck. This is I good. Love it, bro. Guys, come enjoy. First off, come take a picture of this shit, dog. Yeah. Jay, what's up, man? They told me I could be the president. But my imagination have it sent 
Sky is the limit when you seven in You can be whatever you want when you 11-10 Dismiss your nightmares and fears and never let them in